everybody, it's Steampunk Ferret. This is Steampunk Ferret Presents. And before I actually have decided which subreddit I'm going to cover, I just, I, I came across a very funny one and I wanted to share it. It's called, Is Today Friday the 13th? Hmm. Okay, so, is today Friday the 13th? No. Is today Friday the 13th? No. Is today Friday the 13th? That's pretty much the entire thing, but the best part is that there's 73.6 thousand members to this subreddit. And... Oh, and also, also, there's the, the skip. They didn't say yes. They should have said yes on Friday, this past Friday, which actually was Friday the 13th, but apparently nobody asked on that particular day. So it goes from five days ago to three days ago. So, oh well. Anyway, that is my <laughs> fun little discovery for today. Anyway, so I think I'm going to do r slash murdered by words because I just realized I have not done a murdered by words video and they're pretty freaking hilarious, so let's do this. Starting off strong, Tide Pods and vaccines share 15 of the same ingredients. Ooh. And we share like 80% DNA with banana peels, so what's your freaking point? Good question. God, I swear. Male privilege is wearing the same outfit multiple times to events while girls can't wear the same dress twice no matter how cute it is. I got some of the clothes that I still had in high school in 94 that I still wear. I'm not even joking. There isn't a single straight man on earth that cares if you wear the same cute dress twice. The negative comments will come from other women. And he's right. Women, quit it. Don't tear down another woman. Don't point out a woman is wearing the same dress twice. Who the frickin' frack cares? It's a cute dress. Wear it again. Wear it ten times. Get some use out of it, ladies. I just saw two slugs having sex. How's everyone else's morning going? Nauseous little smiley face there on the end. Well, that's just rude. Finally installed that mirror in your bedroom? But I'm child. See, you kind of walked right into that one, dude. Whoever posted this. You can't be mad at it. <laughs> Left the door wide open. Math achievement unlocked. Somebody tweeted this. Had a Chinese this evening. Chicken, 2 pounds 35. Fresh egg noodles on clearance, 24 pence. I guess that's what it is. All natural ingredients, sauce, 75 pence. Is that what the P is? I feel like I'm messing up. Anyway. Stir fry veg on clearance, 55. 7 minutes total, 3 pounds 89. Enough for four, 97 pence each. Don't tell me we have food poverty in this country. It's just idleness. This guy kind of sounds like a twat. That's just my in-depth analysis. But anyway. <laughs> that's marvelous, Andrew. Now that's one meal. Now assume for the sake of argument that our unemployed family of four eats that deliciousness three meals a day for a week. That's 81 pounds 69. Unemployment is 71 pounds 70. So you've starved for one day and not paid bills. You barber wearing. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See, math is hard. Math is hard. Hmm. Math is hard. I talked to a girl once who said she sometimes liked to commit strangers' faces to memory so she could masturbate about it later. Makes me wonder if that's ever happened to me. Probably not, but it's enough to wonder. Narrator, it hasn't. <laughs> what was this whole conversation? I don't even, I don't even want to know what the beginning part of this conversation was, but. Every time I use they, to refer to a single gender unknown person on Tumblr, another piece of my grammar-filled heart shatters and the pieces scatter to the bottom of hell. <sighs> they has been a singular pronoun for hundreds of years, you melodramatic dipshit. Well, actually, no. They is plural. People use they when they should use he, she, or it. Dense mother f The pronoun they is an English equivalent for the third person indefinite singular and has been for literally centuries. It remains morphologically and syntactically plural. 
Therefore, you don't need to shit your little pantaloons on, at compromising your surely rock-solid grammar rules. I guarantee every f***ing time you've ever had to refer to a person of an unknown gender, you've used they subconsciously. The post clerk gave a message for you. Oh, what did they say? But you only have a problem with it when people specify it as a pronoun for themselves because you're a shitlord, I f***ing guess. Boom! This one bugs me so much, but when somebody very specifically prefers they, why the hell? What, what does it do to you? Why do you? What harm does it do to you aside from the fact that you have to think for a second and try to remember? And if you forget, most of the time somebody that is non-binary or transgender and you use the wrong pronoun on accident, most of the time they're understanding. But if you're like, oh, whatever, and you just don't care, of course they're going to be offended. It does you no harm. Just why? Why does it, why, why does it matter to you? How does it affect your life? Rant over. There is broken glass at Moises Meadow just before the tires swing through them. <laughs> I can't word today. Alright. There is broken glass at Moises Meadow just before the tire swing and it's been there for a couple of weeks and no one has cleared it up? Do people not care if someone falls and cuts themselves or even a child might want to pick it up and see what it is? Or even if a bit gets caught in a vehicle tire, someone must know something about where it's from and should actually clean it up. Says the person that's apparently noticed it for at least a couple weeks. In response. Did you clean it up? Why should I clean up someone else's mess? <laughs> if it was my mess or if one of my kids did it, I would clean it up, but it's not. Grr. Didn't think so. That attitude is why it's still there. A baby boomer writes an article about how millennials don't care about dating and commitment. Millennials, of course, respond. The hookup culture. How an entire generation forgot how to actually date someone. The baby boomer culture. How an entire generation literally will not shut up about young people doing things they enjoy. The divorce culture. How an entire generation couldn't keep it together and forgot how to not project their insecurities onto children. A generation filled with people who screamed peace, love, whatever, and literally spent the entire time doing whatever they wanted and now punish this generation for doing the same, even though we've been pushed to mature 100 times faster than they were. An entire generation of snotty people who I can't wait to see all die off. <laughs> a generation who went to college for free and then spent their early adulthoods voting for Ronald Reagan and dismantling the New Deal welfare state. A generation that was given everything and has spent the past 35 years making sure that no one after them will have anything. Just FYI, I, I'm Gen X. We're kind of stuck right there in the middle. We don't seem to be interesting enough to like be in the news or anything anymore. So maybe we just didn't do enough bad things or good things. Anyway, on that note, it's late and I'm tired. And I think I'm going to go to bed now. So y'all have fun. Uh, if you like my stuff, go ahead and click the like button. That would be awesome. And if you subscribe, I would be extremely happy. And you guys would be awesome too. I just said awesome twice and it sounded weird. <laughs> Have a good night. See ya. What was that? I'm not saluting anybody. I should get some sleep. Bye. Don't we ever hear about Gen X anymore? I thought we were pretty interesting.